Attackers continue to exploit known vulnerabilities and grow more sophisticated in their attacks. But at the same time, development paradigms continue to evolve, security teams remain understaffed, and there is a lack of secure software development training within development organizations. Now, although DevSecOps teams have adopted a shift-left approach to address these issues, many have done so with traditional application security testing solutions that were not built with the developer in mind. At GitHub, we're focused on improving the developer experience that helps you deliver secure software with less toil and fewer headaches. So, let's think about a scenario. In such a project, you'll likely rely upon several open source dependencies in your code base. But how can you ensure that these dependencies are secure? This is where Dependabot comes in. Dependabot integrates seamlessly into a developer's everyday workflow, providing actionable insights and remediation guidance directly in the pull request. Now, the dependency graph helps to power Dependabot, also allowing you to generate a software bill of materials for your repository. However, application security is more than just the packages you depend on, and that's where GitHub Advanced Security can help. GitHub Advanced Security empowers DevSecOps teams to prioritize innovation and enhance developer productivity without sacrificing security. So we'll talk about that in three main areas, supply chain security, code scanning, and secret scanning. So let's explore how they can help you build more secure software faster. Think back to Dependabot. Dependabot works well for detecting existing dependencies in your code base, which may be vulnerable. But what about preventing new vulnerabilities from being introduced, or ensuring only packages of approved license types can make their way into your production applications? That is where GitHub's dependency review GitHub Action comes in. GitHub Advanced Security provides you access to this, enabling you to add a check to your pull request, preventing vulnerable packages from ever being introduced into your code base. Next, let's think about the code that you or your team have written. While your code may be secure at the time of writing, new attack vectors can be discovered in the future. This is where code scanning comes in. Code scanning offers a wide range of customizable security policies, integrations with popular CI CD pipelines and open source tools, and surfaces results in the pull request for easy collaboration, prevention, and remediation. At the heart of code scanning is the CodeQL static analysis engine. CodeQL enables developers to automate security scans and allows security researchers to perform variant analysis. It provides clear and actionable feedback on vulnerabilities and remediation guidance so you can view and triage issues directly in your code. At GitHub Universe 2023, we announced that we're bringing generative AI investments to code scanning with the addition of Code Scanning Autofix. Code Scanning Autofix uses generative AI to provide editable suggestions that fix detected vulnerabilities. This means that you can spend less time fixing vulnerabilities and more time building new features. And if you have investments in an existing security tool, then you can integrate it with GitHub's code scanning as long as it outputs in the Sarif data format. That could include your DAST, container, and infrastructure as code scanning tools. And now let's think about secret scanning. Have you or someone on your team ever leaked a secret in your code? It's more common than you might think and can present a significant security risk to your organization. Now, the solution isn't as simple as just removing the secret from your code base, as it may have already been exposed to the public and will require revocation and rotation of secrets, which can be a time consuming process. Secret scanning is a tool integrated within the GitHub user interface to prevent secret leaks in the development process. It scans for over 200 token types and is supported by a partner program of service providers to detect leaked secrets at scale. Now, secret scanning works well for detecting existing secrets in your code base, but what about preventing new secrets from being introduced? That's where secret scanning push protection comes in, providing you with the ability to block secrets from being pushed to your repository. But what if you need to detect a secret that isn't supported by one of the built-in token types? In this case, you can define your own custom patterns, and secret scanning will detect them for you. 
But this is another area where GitHub has invested in generative AI. Custom patterns are defined by using regular expressions. But as developers, we know that writing regular expressions can be difficult. That's why GitHub now uses generative AI to create regular expressions based on patterns that you specify in natural language. But finally, what about secrets that may be a little more generic? Think about passwords or API keys. These don't follow specific structures or patterns like partner patterns, so can be tricky to detect. This is an additional area where generative AI is being introduced to enhance the platform's capabilities. After enabling secret scanning for generic secrets, an other view is available, displaying alerts for unstructured secrets, such as passwords. Now that we've explored GitHub Advanced Security, what about visualizing all of this information? At the GitHub organization level, you'll be able to see a summary of all of your security alerts using the security overview dashboard. You can drill down into that detail and filter that information to understand trends over time. You can also use the risk dashboard to get a breakdown of the risk per repository and the coverage dashboard to identify repositories where the security features are not yet enabled. We've seen how Dependabot can help you manage your dependencies, and we've also seen the power and breadth of GitHub Advanced Security. That includes guardrails to prevent vulnerable packages from getting to production, code scanning to help find and fix vulnerabilities in your code, and secret scanning to proactively identify and prevent secrets from being leaked in your code base. So, how will you bring security into your software development lifecycle?